at 335 Main Street in historic downtown Conway for another one of our Carolina Theater Trail segments. Let's go check out the Theater of the Republic. Hey folks, how are you? Hi. Good to see you again. Nice seeing you. Yeah, this is great. Showtime? It is showtime. Oh, it's great. Well, Tim, tell me about your great little theater. We started in this particular building in 1999. Okay. And the theater, however, started back in 19, I want to say 17, 69. And it was formed by a group of people in Conway, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. The city decided we need, needed some type of art organization, right. theater organization. And so the community got together and they formed this little theater of the Republic. Wow, so just a, a group of of local entertainers. That's correct. Wanting to get together and entertain the community. That's right. And they came up with a name. The name is very interesting. It's the Theater of the Republic because Republic of Ori County was the name of it. So, ah. um, Ori of the Republic. Because when I first moved here, right, I saw the Theater of the Republic and I thought, is that a cult? You know, it's got a little <laughs> cult sound to it. Right, right. The building that we're currently in right now is what one time was called the Holiday Theater. Okay. It was a movie theater. And it was in downtown Conway probably since the 1940s. Okay. And then in 1955, I believe, it burned down. Ah. Then they replenished it again and reopened the movie theater back up. But then the Holiday Theater sold the um, theater to a organ church organization. Mm. And then there was another fire. From that moment on, it set empty as a brick shell. Okay. So here is the Theater of the Republic doing shows in high school auditoriums and in barns and right. in restaurants. And so the city said, would you be interested if we give you this building for some little token, you know. Now what year was that? Uh, it was 1999 when, they, okay. when this building was officially handed over. They actually did a show in here when there was no ceiling. Wow. And a dirt floor <laughs> and they brought your folding chairs and they did Dracula. Oh my gosh, how so appropriate. To basically to introduce the community to what the their concept, goal is. Yes. Right. This theater has a lot of history of community working together for a common cause. And you see it a lot, but unfortunately in our society we don't see it in the arts as much. So that's why I'm, I'm very proud and privileged to be a part of this organization and what we do here. Well, a lot of people think the inside of this theater is the way the movie theater looked. The Holiday Theater wasn't really that ornate, you right. know. So they basically uh, did some of it, but the marquee was reproduced as the original marquee because it was destroyed in the fire. So the marquee outside that we see now is shaped and it looks like it it's would a, have looked. A okay. replica uh, yes, a duplication of the uh, original. Mm -hmm. uh, from what I understand, the Theater of the Republic does not have a lot of dark time, right? Right. So how many shows do you do a year? Well, we do 10 shows for our season. We do five uh, book plays or non-musicals, and then we do five large musicals. I have children's programs coming in, and so my job is to keep it filled. Now, I could shut the theater down, do three musicals a year, not have as many bills, and probably, but eventually you have to have shows to pay the bills. Talk to me for just a moment about the importance of community theater. We have to have the arts to survive. So community theater to me, and I don't like to say the word community theater. What do you call it? I just call ourselves theater. Theater, okay. Yeah. Great. Community theater, some people think it's like um, cardboard cutouts and stuff like that. And some theaters do. And some people, you know, but it's all about creating and mm. using your imagination. And if you look at our society right now with all the electronics and all the gadgets, our creation our creativity is going into these phones and to these devices that are making us do certain things they're telling us to do. So without the opportunity for you to come out and be who you want to be or create something live, right. uh, I think we're in, in for a, a sad state. I think community theater is extremely important because it gives people an opportunity to um, step out into the spotlight. It gives people an opportunity to learn and grow and try new things. Even if you don't want to be a professional actor, even if you're and you're young doing it, even if you're an adult and you work at the bank and then you come here and do this at night, um, mm. how wonderful that you get that opportunity to do something completely different, you know. And and I think this theater in particular has done a really lovely job of stepping outside of the 
um, stereotypical box and trying new things and pushing themselves and going for more abstract, abstract work, plays and musicals. And I think that that's sort of rare when it comes right. to the community theater world. And you of all people understand the value for kids to yeah. have this opportunity. Yeah. And that's what, what else is kind of great about this theater is there's a, a ton of children, there's a youth program, mm -hmm. and then also you have the adults that come in and give their extra time when they've worked all day right. <laughs> in an office or wherever they work, and then they come in at night and dedicate their time, and it's pretty exceptional what they accomplish. It's special, isn't it? It's very special, yeah. yeah. So you spend your time on a professional stage now, but then you have the opportunity to visit the Theater of the Republic yes. and be on the stage here. Yeah, I helped them uh, with uh, earlier in January uh, mm -hmm. with their 50th anniversary show um, and now with uh, with Cameron's show. And it's just nice to, to be able to come back uh, to mm -hmm. my home theater because this was, you know, the, the place where it started it all. Right. So it's important. Oh, it's extremely important. I, I wouldn't be the person I am without this theater. There are people of different ethnicities, people of different ages. I'll be on stage with six-year-olds and 80, you know, octogenarians. I, the people backstage all, all, all get along. There are people from, who come from out of town and they may only stay for a few months. They may only do a couple of shows with us, but they add to the, the pool of people that we get to know and, and learn from. It's, it's amazing. Tim, it sounds like uh, not only is the Theater of the Republic serving the community, but it's given you a home and allowed you to do some things that maybe you've never imagined you would do. Never. Never. It's, right. it's all about the mind. So I hope to be here till, till I'm 120. 120? Mm -hmm. That's my goal. That'll be quite the performance. Yes, it will. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank, Thank you. This you. is great.